the humanitarian situation is of the gravest concern. At least 8.2 million, roughly one in four Iraqis, need urgent assistance, of which half need food assistance. More than three million people are internally displaced and partners estimate that, a nearly, that nearly a million more are likely to be displaced by continuing conflict and violence in the months ahead. Close to 300,000 refugees, mostly from Syria, have sought safety in the country. The government is continuing to lead the operation, providing resources for cash stipends, distributing assistance and helping to red camps for population fleeing violence. Humanitarian partners are working around the clock to provide assistance, but funds are running short. Close to 80 health facilities are closing in the weeks ahead unless support is received. Food rations have already been cut and scores of life-saving programs are scheduled to sh shut down. The implications of this are enormous and profoundly worrying. I thank the donor community for their pledges in response to the recent humanitarian response plan launched in cooperation with the European Union and Brussels on the 4th of June, but I urge the international community to do more to help desperately vulnerable Iraqi communities. We are very worried by reports that communities and families are being forced to look into ISIL for life-saving assistance, even as UN-sponsored programs are closing for lack of funding. At the same time, internally displaced persons in increasing numbers are starting to return to liberated areas. The stabilization efforts led by the government with the support of the UN family using the UNDP funding facility to, for immediate stabilization are commendable. But much more remains to be done to ensure that the returns are voluntary, sustainable and dignified and that conditions are in place to leave their homes.